So some of you guys may have already seen this, but a few days ago, Motor Trend posted an article and basically put the Jeep Gladiator on blast. They mentioned that it has reduced payload and towing capacity, a leaky top, and a what they call a scary towing experience. And if you scroll on down, they even go as far as to say that it is borderline dangerous to tow with. So I have a major bone to pick with this. So just for the record, I do have a subscription to Motor Trend magazine myself, so I don't necessarily have anything against Motor Trend, but that article is garbage, and here's why. Is there ever a bad time for a cold start on an eco diesel engine? I don't think so. Did you hear that? I love how they put a factory high idle on these. So on a cold morning, it'll warm up faster. All right, so when you are a professional automotive publication like Motor Trend or the Fast Lane or any of these other media, major media outlets that report on automotive things, you have a bit of credibility you know, there's a lot of people that trust you and put their faith in what you say. There's a lot of people that will or won't buy a vehicle based upon what you write about it or record or say about it. So, as the old saying goes, with great power comes great responsibility, right? And when Motor Trend publishes an article that just flat out lies <laughs> about a truck, that's not cool because they're going to hinder sales of a vehicle for no reason at all okay they flat out said that it's dangerous to tow with the jeep gladiator and as somebody who owned a gladiator who worked a gladiator hard around my property i used it to drag trees out of the woods i hauled pallets of cement mix i towed near the maximum with that truck for a year put it through its paces I'd like to just take a moment to clear the air and give you the truth about the Jeep Gladiator because I think it's only fair. So first of all, several years ago, they started using uh, SAE, the Society for Automotive Engineers. They have a new criteria. You can look it up. It's J2807, J2807. You can look it up and read all about it. It's a very elaborate and extensive uh, testing method for rating trucks on what they can and can't tow. And the purposes of J2807 are twofold. First of all, it levels the playing field. So manufacturers don't have these wild claims that they can't back up anymore. You know, if you're a consumer and you're shopping for trucks, you can look at the tow ratings and you know that you can trust it. And so it helps the consumer when they're comparing trucks because everything's on a level playing field now and the numbers are all accurate scientific numbers. Secondly, J2807 ensures that the tow rating that's put on a truck is a tow rating that the truck can handle safely. Okay, that's the whole point here. The Jeep Gladiator was rated for a maximum tow capacity of 7,650 pounds using the J2807 method which means it was extensively tested for braking performance, acceleration, handling, control of the truck, and a few other things too. Okay, and I can tell you from experience that all of my full-size half-ton trucks, what we call half-ton trucks, okay, compared to the Jeep Gladiator, if you compare the two, the numbers on paper are pretty similar. You know, my Gladiator had a bunch of options on it and it still had a payload rating of over 1,500 pounds. Okay, this diesel powered Ram 1500 that I'm sitting in right now has a payload rating of a little over 1600 pounds. So the numbers are very similar. You know, your tow rating on the midsize trucks obviously is a little bit lower, but not by much. On paper, the ratings are pretty similar. And in practicality, you know, I've, I've used a lot of full size half ton trucks, a lot of them from all the brands. And my Jeep Gladiator towed and hauled just as well 
as any of those trucks. It really did. You know, I don't have the Gladiator in my driveway anymore, so I have nothing to gain or lose here. I'm just telling you the truth. The Jeep Gladiator was a great truck for doing truck things. It hauled and towed wonderfully. Uh, in fact, one time I towed well over 6,000 pounds with it on a 160 mile trip. You guys probably saw that video. That truck, I didn't have weight distributing hitch on it, didn't have airbags on it. I wasn't really doing things the way I should do them. And even still, that truck was great at doing that job. Braking was confident. Never, not one time, did it feel squirrely or out of control. It handled the load beautifully. So, from experience, I can tell you that the Jeep Gladiator is a great truck. You know, if you're planning on buying a Gladiator and you have intentions on towing a boat, towing a camper, whatever the case might be, I don't want you to have reservations about doing it. You're going to be just fine. It's a great truck. It's a strong truck. I mean, you have to think, they, they overbuilt the Gladiator because they intend for it to be an off-road truck. You know, they know people are going to bash them on the rocks, take them out on the trail and beat on them. So they made the frame, the chassis, the suspension really heavy duty. They kind of overbuilt it for a mid-sized truck, to be honest with you. Well, that has the side benefit of making it a good work truck too, because that rugged nature that they built into it for off-road use also helps you when you put a weight, you know, a load of weight on it. So anyway, it just really irks me to see Motor Trend publish something like that and come out and say that this truck is dangerous. You know, they talk about a leaky top. You can browse the forums, the owners groups on social media all day long. And you'll be hard pressed to find somebody who's had a top leak on the new Wrangler JL or the new Jeep Gladiator. I mean, they just don't hardly leak anymore. They've done a good job of that. You know, and they mentioned that terrible payload and towing rating. Are you kidding me? The Jeep Gladiator leads the class in payload. It leads the class in towing capability. It has the best numbers in the midsize class. I mean, that, that article, I don't know who wrote that article, but uh, what a joke. Come on, guys. You're going to hurt FCA, a company who's actually building things that people want. You know, while all these other companies are building toasters and electric vehicles and hybrids, FCA is still building what people want. They're putting supercharged V8s in everything they can. They're building a Jeep pickup truck with a diesel. Okay, you can get a Jeep with solid axles. You can't get that anywhere else. I mean, I could go on all day. They're building the vehicles that people want, and their sales are going way up because of it. And these articles, like the one that Motor Trend published, are not doing them any service at all. So, sorry, I just have a major bone to pick with that. If you're looking for a Jeep Gladiator and you're planning on working it, as long as you stay within the manufacturer ratings, as long as you do it by the book, you're going to be just fine. I promise you. I'm convinced that the reverse camera is the greatest modern addition to the vehicle as we know it. <laughs> it just it has really been a game changer. It's foggy outside, my mirrors are all frosted up. But thanks to this camera, I can actually back up to the garage and see what I'm doing. <laughs> so this is awesome. So I have a job I gotta get done today, but I just wanted to take a quick moment and and give you my thoughts. You know, Motor Trend decided to put the Jeep Gladiator on blast wrongly so i decided to put them on blast sorry guys but it is what it is hey if you have any questions about the jeep gladiator if you want to know the truth about it from the standpoint of using it as a truck post some comments below and let me know and i'll tell you all about it thanks guys we'll talk to you later oh and while i'm thinking about it these tires you know i've done several reviews on these uh, mile star patagonia mt tires but it's time for these to find the new home I'm just ready to try something different because I like to experiment with new things. So I'm going to be trying to see, you know, what you guys would like to see out there. I mean, there's not really a lot of new tires on the market right now, but I'd like to review something for you that hasn't really been reviewed heavily before. So if you got any ideas on what you would like to see put through its paces and worked hard, let me know. You know, I'm kind of leaning toward maybe an all-terrain or a hybrid tire this time around instead of a mud terrain, but post a comment and let me know if there's a tire out there you'd like to see. All right, I'm out of here, thanks.